Hello guys, welcome back with me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Oil prices drop amid China COVID curves possible rate hikes. Singapore returns oil prices fell on Monday with the global fall demand outlook overshadowed by COVID-19 restriction in China and the potential for further interest rate hikes in the United States and Europe. Brand curve futures drop 1.5. 28 or 1.4% to 91.56 barrel by all 330 GMT after settling 4.1% height her on Friday. United States was West, West Texas intermediate crude was down 1.34 at 85.45. Five a barrel or one point five percent after a three point nine percent gain in the previous session. Prices were little changed last week as gains from a nominal supply cut by the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries or OPEC. And at least including Russia, a group known as OPEC Plus were offset by ongoing lockdowns in China, the worst drop crude importer. China oil demand could contract for the first time in the decades this year as Beijing zero COVID policy keeps people at home during holidays and reduces full composition. The lingering presence of head headwinds from China's re revenue vi virus re restriction and water moderation in global economic activities could still draw some reservation over a more sustained upside, said Jong Rob Yap, market strategist at IG. The overall negative seems to outweigh the positive, said Yap, adding the 85 mark for brand code prices could be in sight. Meanwhile, the Europe Central Bank and the Federal Reserve are prepared to increase interest rates further to take inflation, which could lift off the value of United States dollar against currencies and make dollar dominated oil more expensive for investors. The main concern sent on the impact of freezing interest rates to combat inflation and China's COVID zero policy. Commonwealth Bank of Australia unleashed fever dark one in a note. Still, global oil prices may rebound towards the end of the year. Supply is expected to tight further when a European Union embargo on Russian oil takes effect on December 5. The G7 will implement a price cap on Russian oil to limit Russia's, Russia's look, lucrative oil export revenue following its invasion of Ukraine in February and plans to take measures to answer that the oil could still flow the emerging nation Moscow calls its action in Ukraine a special operation. West wage contention anti-China move as United Rights Council opens. Geneva, Western countries face a dilemma as the United Human Rights Council opened on Monday. Confront China over human rights violation it in Xinjiang region and risk failing or miss the biggest opportunity to bring accountability in years. A report by the United Rights Office on August 31 found that China's arbitrary and discriminatory detention of Uyghurs and other Muslims there may constitute crimes against humanity. China vigorously denies any abuse. High Commissioners for Human Rights Michel Michel Balens, whose office relates to the report, has since concluded her, her term. Her successor, Australia's Parker Truk, is not isn't yet in Geneva and now follow up action is formally on the crowded council agenda agenda that includes the crisis in Ukraine and Ethiopia. 
That means any China action may be may have to be incinerated by one on the 47 nations that make up the council task with promoting and protecting human rights globally. I think that's all from me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.